And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hugo Traversal. Welcome to the interview with Julia Balladaro. Uh, thank you, first of all, to uh, Julia before we get into this. Thank you for uh, clearing time with your schedule to allow me to interview you. And second of all, ladies and gentlemen, uh, only a short amount of you are subscribed, about, I'd say, 5% of you who watch my videos. Uh, so if you guys want to subscribe, please do. It's, you know, it helps me out. It, Boost, you, you'll get to see my content a little bit more. If you click notifications, you get to see my content when it comes out. But, you know, it's going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys have a great day. Uh, once again, thank you, Julia, and have a nice day. On to future, Hugo. I'm Hugo Traverso. Adios. How are you doing? There you go. I'm good, and you? Uh, I'm good. I'm doing well. Uh, uh, should we jump in the interview? Perfect. Let's go. First of all, thank you. Thank you for making time in your schedule to allow me to interview you. Of course, the pleasure. First question, how did you get into golf? Okay, I got into golf when I was 12 because my father thought it would be a good tool to have for business. Um, I used to play tennis when I was younger and my dad just wanted me to play golf for the social part of the game and I became better than we expected, faster than we thought, and I started pursuing it as an actual, you know, interest in sport. You were on the Italian team uh, at the age of 13, uh, but you played in the Junior Ryder Cup, I'm pretty sure, when you were 16. What was it like to play in the Junior Ryder Cup? It's a lot of fun. Um, golf not being a team event when we can play as a team like the Junior Ryder Cup and, you know, Solheim as a professional Ryder Cup for the men. It's truly, it's truly a fun event, especially as mixed with the guys. Um, I don't remember exactly what the format was, but it's, uh, we played with the guys and I think it was three, four days long. It's, it's a lot of fun. To be able to make it a team event, it's what makes it a special week. Uh, you went to the Sun Devils. You were part of the great uh, program there. Uh, but why did you choose ASU? I got recruited by ASU and a few other colleges, but I primarily chose ASU because of the coach that was there and because a lot of the team I knew from um, playing in Europe with them. A lot of the team were European. Thank you. That, you know, that is cool to be able to play with your friends at college. Uh, but how did you feel, uh, you were in your senior year, how did you feel when you learned that you had won Pac-12 Player of the Year, Pac-12 uh, First Team, had, won, had had Pac-12 First Team Honors and First Team All-American uh, uh, Honors? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Oh, well, yeah, because the internet connection may be unstable. How did you feel when you learned that you had won Pac-12 Player of the Year, Pac-12 First Team, and First Team All-American Honors? I love these are questions that no one has asked me in a very long time. Um, it was great. I loved ASU. I loved my whole four years there. I would recommend anyone to go to ASU. Um, obviously, I'm biased, and I think it's the best school out there. Um, I was playing better golf. I had a few... I had a rough first two years, if I remember well, or even three. I um, wasn't playing my best. And the last year, I actually calmed down a little bit and, and performed much better and got all those awards, which obviously it's, it's a privilege and an honor. And I mean, I, if I could, I'd go back to college in a heartbeat. Describe your first tournament as a pro. You know, you played in the Symmetra Tour, so, you know, describe your first tournament. You're asking good questions. Um, I don't remember much about my first tournament. I was probably extremely nervous. Um, I know it wasn't the Symmetra Tour. I don't remember where or which tournament it was. Um, I still get nervous at every event I play. I think once those nerves stop, it means maybe it's time to, to start doing something else with my life. But I'm sure I was nervous. I'm sure it was exciting. Um, I'm sure I was scared of what was to come and what to expect. In 2016, you made the uh, Olympic team for Italy as golf was brought back to the Olympics. How did you feel when you made the Olympics? Privileged to represent your country, especially in the biggest stage like the Olympics. 
um, I think is the biggest and highest level of competition for any athlete. Um, maybe it's not considered so for golf because we have such a strong tour and, and tournaments on a regular basis, but I will always consider it an extreme honor and privilege to be able to say you're an Olympian and to represent your country on such a big stage. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, what was your thoughts, uh, your thought process going into, you know, the most recent LPGA championship, which was last weekend? I have been playing very well. I've been feeling my game was getting more and more solid by the week. Um, good results were coming. I wasn't putting four results, four good results in a row, um, but I had like regularly good rounds in, in the last few tournaments. So I was very confident and comfortable. And as soon as I played the course and practiced it, I loved it. I li it suited my eye. I liked the greens. I liked the design. So I, I honestly felt very comfortable from the very moment, first moment that I played it on Monday. And it, I stayed calm the whole week and was able to pull off uh, my best result yet. Thank you. Uh, you were uh, four under heading into the third day where you went off, but how did you feel going into the third day? I was more relaxed than I thought I would be. Um, I, I, was, I just, it's, it's a cliche, but you always just try to play one shot at a time. And it's truly probably the biggest and hardest thing to do is to stay in the moment and not move forward and not look ahead and, and think about your score. On the 18th hole, I asked my caddy what our score was, and that's how in the moment I was. I wasn't sure what I'd shot and, and how, how much under we were. Uh, finally, what advice do you have for young aspiring golfers? I would definitely say go to college, because I think especially if you want to turn pro, it does prepare you for, for your life as a professional. You are away from home, you're away from family, especially for like, if you're moving away from like us Europeans, or if you go as an American to a state far away from your, your home state, you learn how to manage yourself and be on your own and play harder and more challenging golf courses. So definitely I would recommend go to college and play right, college thank golf. You. All right, thank you, uh, Julia. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your tour uh, of the tour year and, uh, uh, if you, I have you made the Olympics in 2021? Have you made the? Yeah, it was announced Olympics? yesterday. Nice. So uh, have a have a nice time at the Olympics. Have a nice time in Thank Tokyo. Thank you. Uh, hope to stay in touch. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to after the interview. I'm Hugo Traverso. Uh, once again, I want to thanks say thanks to uh, Julia and good luck at the Olympics and good luck at the rest of the LPGA Tour uh, year. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please smash like. And uh, if you liked it a lot, then uh, subscribe. Uh, I, I only 2% of my viewers are, uh, of my viewers are subscribed. So, uh, you know, I get a lot of traffic. Uh, so 98% of the viewers that don't watch me, that watch me are not subscribed. So, you know, that's not good. So ladies and gentlemen, if you aren't subscribed, please give me that big red subscribe button. And uh, if you want to turn on notifications. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Julia. Her, uh, links will be in the description, so go watch her on the Italian Olympic team, and go follow her on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. So have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hugo Traverso. Adios.